Today I'm going to be drafting in a six team league, however the expanded player pool will be on. So essentially the entire NHL is available, but we only have six teams in the league. So these teams are going to be insane. I'll go the old fashioned way for deciding what team we're going to be and I will stop now. We get Detroit. Fantasy draft on. Owner mode? No, I severely doubt it. Same with you, Jabroni. Come on, I saw you this whole time. Don't try to hide over there. And the setting that we're here for, the expanded player pool. Let's turn that on. I'll leave morale off, CPU trades. We'll keep it on. Hopefully we get a good draft position. I'm gonna say, again, I am very, very limited with my selections. Instead of one from 32, I'm one to six. So I'm gonna say five. We're probably gonna be near the back here. Okay, I, like, that's not that impressive. It's way better when you do it with the Full league, but I'll take it. McDavid, Makar, Pasta, Dreisaitl. That leaves us with Austin Matthews. He's becoming a Detroit Red Wing. Uh, maybe. Oh, I see Nathan McKinnon lost all of his abilities. Love that. Oh, same with you, Chucky. They're all gone. Nobody has abilities. I could be making this up, but I feel like I've drafted Nate Mack recently, and I also feel like I've taken Kucherov recently. So I'm going with Chucky. I could take Roman Yossi. Could also take Rantanen. But I will be doing neither of those things, and I will be taking Pedersen. Yeah, didn't see that coming, did ya? No idea how Victor Hedman is still here, but yes, please. Jack Hughes, easily one of the best players in the NHL right now. Boom. Hedman and John Carlson playing together should be illegal, and I am not gonna do it because I'm taking Quinn Hughes. Never mind, he's still here. So, yeah, joining the team. And if Crosby is still there, you better believe I'm taking him as well. Jakey O just went... All right, no, I think we probably should draft a right winger at this point. Patrick Kane is really tempting because he's making less than a mil, but I'm going with Will Nye the hockey guy. You see what I see. It's been a minute. Welcome to the Detroit Red Wings. I'm really starting to understand why these players aren't going, and I just looked at my cap space, so... Really should have been paying more attention to that. Welcome to the team, Brandon Montour. Chandler Stevenson as well. Why has nobody taken this guy yet? Hagel, 1.5 and 85 overall. Yeah. I think you guys are going to get a two for one special today because I think what I'm going to do is do this draft. And then what I'll do is turn salary cap off and do this again real quick. Sort of like a speed draft. I might even auto draft it just to see what we get. There he is. And he's a right winger, which we are severely lacking right now. That is massive. Kachekov. I feel like I've seen him put up some good numbers. And I don't know if I've ever drafted him, so that'll be a first. I believe, anyway. This will be player 14. We'll still need... Yeah, I can make it work. Pavelski 3.5 is manageable. But can I manage 2.6 for Forsling? Probably not, but I'm still gonna send it. 1.7 for Dursey. He shoots right. I don't even care about handedness at this point. Whatever, just get on the team. All this squadron needs now is four forwards and we have four million dollars to do it. So I need to try and find the best deals I possibly can. And Novak is exactly that. 1.7 for Hartman. Yeah, we still have three. Yeah, this will work. Fine. Awesome. This team's going to be sick. You know what else is going to be sick? Free agency. It's going to be a lot of... Very talented players that did not go. Like Ovechkin's still here. Marchand, Stamkos. Um, honestly, I have no idea who this is. Yeah, why not? All the loading for the drafts and stuff is so much faster, but this is our team. I really can't wait to see what our chemistry looks like. Also, hopefully the abilities come back. Like, what's going on with that? Oh, that's right. The calendar simulation goes a lot faster as well. So that's cool. But let's edit the lines here and see if our chemistry is as good as I'm thinking it's going to be. Yeah, it's nice. And the abilities are there. Why? Did I leave Fog of War on? Really? I did leave Fog of War on. Can confirm. Does that mean that the player... I mean, I'm still very happy with our team, but... Were the overalls that I was drafting them not their actual overalls? No, it seems consistent. All right. Thankfully. Wait a minute. I didn't draft you. Get out of here. Who did I draft then? Scratch players? Yeah, this lad right here. Get in the lineup. And it makes it a plus one. But we do need a centerman, so Novak. Get down there, and yeah, that looks good. Okay. Sick. Couple of fours and a couple of ones. The only issue I see is that we do not have a sniper in our top six. I mean, they probably have, yeah, like five star shooting, but still not a sniper. Is defensive chemistry gonna cooperate this well? 
Mmm, kind of. I'm gonna keep it real with you. I'm just gonna let this minus one sit here because this top four is filthy. And last but not least, our goaltending situation is as follows. You see what I see backed up by Kachekov. I think we're gonna be a good team, but we are going against other teams that are also gonna be really good. So that has to be considered. I see we get 43 wins. And... Hot take, Hughes has the most points with 90, 90. This is going to be like that old school sim all over again where it just flies. You'll love to see it. All right, we got off to a roaring start, but then we cooled off super fast. Did the Arctic plunge? Hold that thought. I do want to check what all the other teams look like because there is only six teams in the league. We don't have a player that's point a game right now. Disgusting behavior. The Bruins have a very, very solid team. That first line is ridiculous. Defensively, okay, so they kind of fall off defensively. I feel like we are better in that category. In Nets, they have Sorokin and Wall. Jeez, okay, they are gonna be a tough team. Chicago has an outrageous top six. They got Fantilli, Genther, and Radish playing on their third line as well. So they are also set for the future while being set right now. But I guess, yeah, with all the options available, six teams, it checks out. Defensively, again, I feel like we're better defensively. I do really like that second pair though. Sanderson's been sick and Power's been really good as well. And they got Vasilevsky with Schmidt. Nice. Montreal's got Jimmy Superstar playing with Point and Kucherov. Rossi on the second line is interesting. They also got Kent Johnson, who's got a couple of abilities. I can get behind that. They brought back Slavkovsky, Eklund, and Holt, so just a young fourth line here. They have a lot of young players. Brant Clark playing with Theodore, Taves and Makar. That is nuts. They gotta have a good goalie as well. Yep, Connor Hellebuck with Levi. Holy smokes. There he is. I was wondering where McDavid went. So he's playing with Marnsey and Keller. Lindholm, Thompson, and Natchez. Just again, a weapon of a team. They give us a run for our money defensively. That is a core and a half. In net, they brought back Igor Shosturkin and Wallstedt as the backup last. But not least, the Toronto Maple Leafs. They got Jakey O and Logan Thompson for their duo. Ridiculous. Panarin, Crosby, and Pasta. Line A hints. And then they got Bedard as well. Defensively, are they as good? Noah Dobson with no abilities is kind of interesting, but anyway, Shabbat, Darlene, and McAvoy. Maybe we aren't gonna do very well, honestly. Seeing these other teams has got me slightly concerned. Yeah, the Canadians are really doing well. The Rangers are up there, and then there's kind of some separation after that, but we probably are one of the worst teams in this league. Keep current trading block. Enter the deadline. Let's see who's up for grabs. Sydney the Kidney. That'd be something. I'm not doing anything though. Come on, close out strong. That's what you like to see. Holy! Did only four teams make it? I thought, well, I guess it doesn't make sense that six teams would make the playoffs. So yeah, we did qualify. The Rangers get the pre- Well, yeah, there is still a President's Trophy with a custom league, I think. So they get it 107, 49 wins. We ended up finishing third in the league with 92 points. We definitely gave ourselves a huge boost at the end of the season there. Kachuk had the most points with 77, and he also dropped in overall. So I think I'm going to shift the lines up a little bit here. Hughes tied with 77. They also had the same amount of goals and assists. That's a little creepy, guys. Goalies didn't do so hot, but when you're in a league like this, that kind of checks out. Defensively, Quinn Hughes, 46 points. What a beautician. Shesterkin had the most wins with 39. He also had a 9.15 and then a 9.13 for Sorokin. So some goalies still managed to do quite well. Defensively, Eric Carlson was the leader. EK65 over point a game. Mad lad. The Art Ross winner is Nate Mack with 97 points. I could have drafted him. Passed up though. I also could have drafted this guy. I also could have drafted this guy. Anyway. Yeah, there you go. Eric Carlson had the third most points in the league then, did he not? Absolute menu. Just a quick scouting report on what we've got going on here in Boston, because this is our first round opponent. So this is the team that we definitely have them beat defensively, but they do have Sorokin. Yeah, this is gonna be quite the matchup. I don't think we got this. I'm gonna be real. I got a crazy one for you. Hughes, first line left winger. We will move Kachuk there, yep. Hagel is only a left winger, so I'll move Chandler up. And we should have another center somewhere. Novak can go there. Hartman, I'm gonna demote you. 
So we got Wheeler, Novak, Hagel. Anyone here a center? There you go. Hartman slash center. Amazing. And you know what? PD's got the center slash left wing, so I'm even going to do that. Makes it even better. He's only got 75 face off, 77. Really not that big of a difference. I'll leave this as is. All right. Yep. Final decision. Let's get in there. Will there be a sweep in either direction? Hopefully. All right. It's the best of three. They had me in the first half, but then we really bounce back like we did at the end of the season here. We seem to love doing that. Who's going to get the upper hand in the best of three? It is us. But can the big bad Bruins push seven? They sure can. Let's go here, Detroit. I sense a big win in our immediate future. That's not a good start. Of course, it was Eric Carlson. Is Who are you? That would be all for the first period. Once again, we have to play from behind, but... Based on how our season went and how this series has gone so far, kind of seems that we do better in that situation. Well, it's still possible. It is still possible. But Boston is just the better team right now. Third period. We got to get one soon. Okay, I'm just simming the whole period. It's done. Four nothing. They shut us out. Come on now. And the Rangers took down Chicago in six. So let's see which of these two original six squadrons will be going home with the Stanley Cup. It is the Rangers. We had four players with six points. So I think maybe the line shuffle kind of helps. He went back up to 95. He went up to 92. So I think it was the right call. And yeah, we just got beat by a better team. Can't blame Saros whatsoever. A 925 save percentage. That is immaculate. Defensively, we got six points. A couple of fives. This one surprises me. Not sure what went on there. Yeah, look how good Saros played, actually. Sorokin and Shesterkin both had a 900 flat. Vasilevsky had an 895, and Wall and Wallstedt had to come in at one point for relief. EK65 went sicko mode again. This guy is nuts. Almost point a game in the playoffs. And your Conn Smythe winner, Dage Thompson. With 16 points in 13 games, Jason Robertson had 15, and Matthews, McKinnon, and Lindholm. All reach point a game. I guess these guys did too. Awards. We know this and we know that. Yeah, they clearly dominated. The Art Ross goes to Nate Max. So does the Hart. Art Hart combo. Classic. Tale as old as time. EK65 with the Norris and the Lady Bing. So there you go. Back to back duos. Bedard gets the Calder. No surprises there. Paige Thompson with the Con Smythe, as previously mentioned. The Vesna and the Jennings go to Igor. Darlene. That guy, Kamachi, Sydney the Kidney with the Selkie, Nate Mack, and Connor McDusty. Here's the playoff tree. Let's run it back. And you know what? Maybe I will draft again, but I'm going to like speed draft. Number of teams, six. Salary cap, off. I said off. Do I, I really have to go that way? You can't. That's an interesting choice. What team will I be using this time? Great question. We're gonna find out right now. It is Chicago. No owner mode, no jabroni. Yes, yes, and no. I can't believe I missed that last time. Disappointed. In this draft, it really doesn't matter what pick I get. The team's gonna be unbelievable no matter what, but I'll go with two. We got five last time, so I'll just say we shuffled up. Not a big deal. Obviously, McDavid went first, and we get the next pick. The question is, which of these four do I select? It doesn't matter for cap, so I can take whoever I want. A center sniper in Leon Dreisaitl. I, I want to. I don't know what to do. I do not know what to do. Pasta? I could go with Kale. Kale McCarr, start with a defense. I'm going with Pasta. And then I will be taking the undrafted man himself, Artemi Panarin. And let's throw Braden Point on that line as well. Just because we can. I'll go with Tage Thompson this time just to switch things up. And also, I would like to grab Rasmus Dahlin. Yeah. Jake Ottinger, 1000%. No one else seems to want to, so I'll take Ovi. Josh Morrissey at 89 overall. Love to see that. Dougie Hamilton is still here somehow. So that will be my... Next defensive selection. These teams are going to be even more wild. Ah, uh, we had Nylander last time, so I'll go with Stone. Just trying to switch things up. I really am speed drafting here. Like, I am flying through this thing because it's just so easy. You don't have to worry about cap. You just see a player and you're like, I would love to have you on my team. 
like that. I imagine that the auto draft after I take my final player, which again is going to be a really good goalie because, well, I can. So let's do it. Sim the entire draft now. Go put the lines together and see what it looks like this time around. Holy. This is absurd. Five, 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 and then a four. Look at this lineup as well. Defensively, just ridiculous. I kind of want Dougie Hamilton up here. I can't lie. Yeah, it gives it a plus five. And... Mm hmm... No, you can stay as is then. And in net, we have none other than Jake Yo, backed up by Georgiev. We'll do a very quick look around the league here. So Boston's offense, just insane. Obviously, they have Kale McCarr. Yeah, this is going to be wild. I almost feel like the amount of points that get put up are going to be underwhelming. Because of how stacked every team is. Okay, they don't have the best fourth line. I mean, it's good. And it's going to be insane. But the problem... With that, Detroit, is that this is a one-year sim. Sorry to burst your bubble. Time to look at Montreal here. They got Fox and a bunch of abilities on defense. Dry Sidles, Fetch, and Kairou. I do, for some reason, feel like our team is gonna be, like, one or two in the league. The Rangers got Spencer Knight and Connor Hellebuck. Offensively, Kachuk, Matthew, Stamkos, Suzuki, very good player for the second line. Same with Crosby, Robertson, yeah, like it's obviously. And on defense, they went with Drysdale and Power. I didn't really take any young players because obviously I know it's a one-year ordeal. So I just took anybody that was a good overall, which was not difficult because there was tons of options available. McDavid in a Leafs uniform, what a time to be alive. Goalies, <laughs> all right, they really stocked up in net. Here we go. Calendar, simulate, will Chicago be a 1-2 team in the league like I expect, or will we somehow be worse than I think? So far, we're doing okay. We are first, actually. Wow. All right, so yeah, I guess it's just a close battle for most teams. Uh, how about decline and don't ever send me a trade again? I swear I turned those off. Benson and Reinbacker for Slavin and... No. Listen here, Detroit. You better knock it off. Okay, we have really pulled away now. We have 40 wins at the deadline. I guess we can go in. Detroit's probably got their whole team on the block, apparently. Crosby, Lindholm, Stamco. So do the Rangers. Wow. All right. Yeah, it's basically just the Rangers and Red Wings. I guess Montreal's got a couple players. Will we finish with 47 wins? Yes, we do. And we have the Toronto Maple Leafs in the first round. To be honest with you, I'm just going to sim right past the playoffs. Then we'll go look at all the stats at once. Obviously, real quick again, because this is sort of like the second run through here. And Toronto dusted us and went on to win the cup. We were first in the league by four points. So really not by much. And Toronto finished with 80 and went on to win the cup. They finished 37, 39, and 6. That's wild. Marchi had the most points on our team and it was cleared. Nine points between him and Pasta. Panarin was 67, Pavel was 61, but this is exactly what I'm saying. The numbers are kind of underwhelming because the whole league is stacked. Jakey. We gotta have a discussion. Rossmus had 50, 46 from Mr. Hamilton. Yeah, a lot of the goalie save percentages aren't that good. But also, I feel like a lot of the players aren't gonna have a lot of points. We're gonna find out in a minute here, though. Eric Carlson, 70. He had 15 more than the next closest, Kale McCarr. Obviously, McDavid still excels. That doesn't surprise me. 96 points. 92 for Pedersen. Why couldn't you do that for us? Huh? Matthews and Marchi. 84. So we did have a guy up there at least. Marchi and Pasta both point a game in the lofts. In net, Ottinger had a 901, which I guess, yeah, is probably average. And if we go to the entire league, Carlson and Theodore both had seven goaltenders. Nope, it was not average. Sorokin had a 927. He really shut the door. Steven Stamkos, your Conn Smythe winner. Just going through the trophies here real quick. But yeah, that was the... Fantilli. Wow, good for you. That was the not-so-original six draft, if that makes sense. Because we, you know, had the original six teams. But it was not just those teams that we drafted from, obviously. Here's your playoff tree. It went to seven in the Stanley Cup Finals. So at least that series was close. Ours sure wasn't. Neither was the semifinals on the other side. Thank you for watching. Appreciate you. If you could like, subscribe, hit the bell. That would be heat. And I will see you soon.